Welcome to Culture Bank's Game Changers, everyone, where we're bringing you the most interesting companies and, of course, the bosses behind them that are changing the game. I'm Corey Hale. And I'm Ruth Umo. Today, we're talking with the founder and making it easier for people of color to find jobs in the communications field. First up, let's get into the broader job search market. Oh, it's an interesting one. Ruth, Woo. can I just touch your hand from across the news desk here? This is our first show together. This is our first show together. Oh. It feels great to be sitting across from another oh. black, strong woman in the media field. That's the same way I feel about you. I'm glad <laughs> that we're here and we have another great, strong woman Absolutely. that is coming up that we're going to talk to. Mm -hmm. And I know you and I, we've worked at some of the same companies we have. in the past. We have. So we know a lot about job search Absolutely. and the job search list which right. can be super duper difficult, right. especially when you want to do things that really resonate with your community and your core values. I absolutely agree. But Corey, one thing I will say is that I think this is just a great time to be job hunting. Mm -hmm. As a job seeker, you do have to keep in mind that we have a tight labor market and employers are desperately seeking skilled, qualified talents. Yeah, no, they definitely are. But when you are looking for a job specifically, it seems like a lot of people want to throw out the word diversity yes. and they want to act like they want to hire diverse talent, right. but they're not necessarily really hiring diverse talent. Just if, you know, somebody falls out of the sky Absolutely. and lands on their desk, mm -hmm. but they're not making any effort. And that can be really, really challenging. You hit the nail on the head. I think when we're talking about diversity and inclusion, companies have to understand that they have to make a concerted effort to really widen that ca that candidate pool to make it far more likely that, you know, a diverse, uh, a diverse applicant will come in through the pipeline. Yeah, it can be challenging. That's for sure. I do know with my own like personal job search though, Ruth, I mean, goodness, it's been all about connections. Like the blind going online and applying, right. it just never really worked for me. I only had one job, as many of you guys know, I'm an investment banker by trade, uh, then got into media, but my very first job out of college is like the only job I ever randomly applied for and got, which was out in London, before I came back here to the States. But every other job after that has literally been because I've known someone, because there wasn't a centralized place, right? right. For especially what it is I wanted to do, specifically for me in the communication and in the media sector where I could find jobs where people were looking um, right. you know, for talent like myself. Absolutely. I mean, I completely agree. I think when, when I was more in the entry level stage, I definitely was applying to jobs. Now that I'd say I'm more mid market range, I've definitely been able to sit back and jobs come to me. But still, as a person of color, it's really hard to get your foot into the door. And so for us, when we're a little bit more isolated, it's all about tapping into those networks and really leveraging those connections. Uh, it's super important. Well, Ruth, you know, we have an exciting guest coming up next, which is going to talk all about the best job search platform, especially for people of color. So keep it locked right here. You're watching Culture Bank's Game Changers. We know entrepreneurs are some of the busiest people around. I mean, they're hiring, they're building, they're doing it all. We've been reading a lot of cool things about your company, but tell us, who does it benefit more, the lender or the borrower? Well, Solo is a marketplace, so it actually has to benefit both. Rohan, Barley Sober. Yes. This is the company that is going to revolutionize the bar industry, not just here in the U.S., but globally. Tell us why. Now, there's nothing worse than having your business disorganized, but no need to fear. We are here to help. First, though, let's get started with some entrepreneurial news that everybody should be aware of this week. Welcome back to Game Changers. There seems to be a few different types of job search platforms out there, but none that are catering to diverse communications professionals. Joining us now is Netta Dobbins, CEO of MimConnect. Welcome. Hi, thank I'm you. I'm loving the prints on this yes. top you have here. Yeah, H&M. Okay, oh, hello, hey, coming in hot. Really <laughs> I'm loving it, it's very yeah. chic. <laughs> Well, talk to us about, for, for those of us who don't know, what exactly is MemConnect? And more importantly, why is it so critical? So MemConnect is a networking platform mm -hmm. for people of color to connect to each other. Mm -hmm. So to build that network you guys were talking about a little right. bit earlier. And then to find job opportunities mm -hmm. at companies that really care yes. about diversity and inclusion. Yeah. Yeah. 
So why it's important, I think I think you kind of hit on it already. Like as mid to senior level professionals, it's harder to find the jobs that you want if right. you don't have that network, right? Mm -hmm. And the way that we are looking for jobs is not through a jobs platform, it's mm -hmm. through community. Can someone tell me about their experience at this company? Mm -hmm. Are my opinions gonna be valued if I work at this company? Right. So we're trying to be the, the conduit or the face, first place where people go to figure all this stuff out. No, it definitely makes sense. Now, Netta and I connected a while ago. I don't even know how long ago at this point in time. I know, it's been a minute. Yeah. It's been a minute, but the way that Mim Connect has grown to me is beyond fascinating from what I feel like started as a Slack group mm -hmm. that was super duper yeah. busy and very robust, but so many good connections. We got one of our first interns mm -hmm. by going through your platform. This is before oh, wow. they even right. launched a much bigger... It, See, I've been with, I've been with them. You've been, you've been coding yeah. these relationships. There's people out there that don't thoroughly know. Like, can you just take them through, like, exactly mm -hmm. how they, how you guys strategize and yeah. help people connect? So, I'll start with how we got started. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Um, Shout out to Bianca. Yes, Bianca. <laughs> yeah. um, so, Milk Connect actually started as a group me chat. So, no. way before Slack, we were in group me. Mm -hmm. And I'm originally from Nashville. I had moved to New York, didn't have a network, didn't know anybody. So, I was like, why don't you start a group me so I can meet professionals of color mm -hmm. and just build my network? Mm -hmm. So, in two weeks, we had over 300 people talking about they needed job opportunities. Right. They also needed to find ways to connect with people. And I was like, okay, so this is a void in the space. How do we make this something bigger and better where people can actually come and find everything that they need? Connected with Bianca, my co-founder. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Bianca yes. again. Um, and now Mem Connect is all about helping people build that community. We have over 6,000 people, um, a digital snack <laughs> we like snacks, but a digital Slack community, right. um, as well as putting on events, digital and in-person, that allow people to connect with each other, to connect with companies, and then to get that career experience they really need to level up as professionals. Yeah, and you guys, interestingly enough, you guys actually do go about partnering with some companies, but we're going to get into all of that on the other side, right, Ruth? Absolutely. We've got more coming up with Netta right after this, so stick with us on Culture Bank's Game Changers. Joining us now is Rebecca Allen, CEO of Rebecca Allen Shoes. Thanks so much for having us and joining us with us. Thanks for having me. Hi. All right, let's go back a little bit to just really tell our viewers what squad is, how they can grow their squad, and what this really means for authentically connecting with others. Way back during my time in the Obama administration, we talked about healthcare, particularly from the Obamacare and a lot of the rules and regulations. What about you know the ability to take those online connections offline at scale? And so that was what squad essentially is and does. So tell us about how you've been leveraging the Obama network to help build your business. <music> All right, welcome back everyone to Culture Bank's Game Changers. We're still talking with Netta Dobbins, the CEO of Mem Connect, about all things job search and being able to connect to people. Yeah. Netta, before we went to break, I was getting ready to have you like go into more specifically like the job search techniques. And I was saying how I found our very first intern. Also, we've gotten some of our contributors that help to write articles for Culture Bank from using your platform, but now, uh, that was just through the Slack group, right. but you guys actually work like directly with companies as well. We have actually brought on some of our very <laughs> first company clients, partners. Um, I can list them, Anomaly, W2O Group, um, Bustle has been a major one. And what we do with these companies is we work directly with them to one, help them find the talent, and then to produce programming that gets them directly in front of the talent that they want. So. When it comes to mid to senior level job seekers, like we said before, we're not on these job boards, the indies, whatever, because mm -hmm. we don't feel like anybody's gonna actually look at what we submit. It's like submitting your resume into a doc of this and hoping right. for the best, right? right? Fingers crossed. What we do is we kind of take a different approach to the job seeking aspect when we work with companies. So they're looking for passive job seekers. Our um, talent is looking for real connections with these companies. So we essentially put together programming that brings them in the office, puts them in front of people that work there, people of color that work there, their HR people, the hiring managers, et cetera. So you're getting a real feel for who you're working with and it's not like, 
okay, it's my first day out here. Let me see how I like it. Right. Right. I, I love New York City. Did you guys probably hear the dog barking in the background? <laughs> but what can you do when you're in the middle of the Flatiron District in this human fishbowl, as I call it, but also home to a culture banks? <laughs> Now, Netta, we often hear HR recruiters or HR personnel say that there's a pipeline issue. They simply can't find people of color who are qualified. How accurate is the sentiment, in all honesty? Um, it's not accurate at all. <laughs> <laughs> we are out here. We are out here. Yeah. And I think that's the important part of Mem Connect right. is we're bringing everybody to one central location mm -hmm. so that there's no reason for a company to tell us, mm -hmm. oh, we can't find that we don't have access to them. You mm -hmm. need to work with us. Mm -hmm. You will have access right. to them. You know? Right. So. No, definitely makes a lot of sense. All right, people can go directly to memconnect.com, right? Yeah. To look for jobs, obviously connect with community. Yeah. Is the Slack channel still popping though? The Slack channel is very much It's right. it's very I, 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 did, I, I did have to silent, full confession, I had to silent the Mem Connect Slack channel because the notifications were literally off the chain. Yeah. I was like, oh, I can't focus. Well, that's great. It shows a sense of community that's being built within that platform. Yeah, and I think the, the the best thing about Slack is that you go into it, you log in, and there's immediately thousands of people right. that look like you, that want to help you, right. that are looking to help recruit you to right. that company, and that are willing to give you advice. So unlike like a Twitter or a LinkedIn where you have to build your following, right. it's like you're immediately welcomed into it. It's like a community, homecoming, what we as people of color always look forward to. No. Great. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Always Every a pleasure. Yeah. Great. Everyone, that's Netta Dabas founder of Mem Connect, and we're gonna come back right after this and drop a few gems and some entrepreneurial keys for you on the other side. Okay. You're back with us on Culture Bank's Game Changers. Let's dip into our three entrepreneur keys for those of you in the job search market. All right. Netta was just here from MemConnect. She dropped several, several gems yes. for us to pay attention to. I think one of the main takeaways that Netta dropped for us was when you're out looking for jobs specifically, you need to make sure that your network mm -hmm. is actually people that are going to help you specifically get to where it is you're trying to go. Absolutely. So she brought up like, you know, not going on a random mm -hmm. Indeed board and using a platform that's very targeted and specific mm -hmm. for what it is you want to do can really help you overall. Absolutely. It's about building that sense of community and finding people who can support you and empower you through your job search. Yeah, well, Netta is definitely a part of my community, as are you. <laughs> and of course, all of our viewers out here, you are a part of the Culture Bank mm -hmm. community. I'm Ruth Umo, and this is Corey Hale. Make sure to check out all the savvy business news specifically for the culture at culturebanks.com. And thanks so much for experiencing the new job search wave from this connect. All right, guys, be sure to catch out all the Culture Banks content on Roku, Apple TV, YouTube. Until then, everybody keep building for the culture. We'll see you next time.